Alright, Salanta, Salanta Nod, Ain't I Used to Link. Okay, this is a, one of my pieces of artwork or self poetry from a couple of years ago. But well, we want to touch on this right here on um, Time and Judgment. This is the uh, CD cover, Time and Judgment. It's, a, it's called, subtitled, A Diary of a 400 Year Exile Time and Judgment. A very, very good uh, video. Um, and this will explain some more about this uh, rioting that we currently see going on in London. You know, saying the so-called London riots, time and judgment, a diary of a 400-year exile, because it's time. You know, saying we're coming to 2012, it's time, and it is judgment. You know, saying time and judgment. Now, when we look at when we look at uh, uh, the signs of the time. These are some of the signs of the time. When we look at the signs of the time, let's bring this up front and center, right? We look at the signs of the time. This is something that we had uh, compiled from Bible study, Yehovah's Zan, as well as headresting with Yah, that these are some of the signs or the features, the features of 20, 2012, the end of the world, and we need to put the end of the world, this idea of the end of the world into context is speaking of the end of white supremacy or the Gentile world system. The system we're living in now is considered the Gentile world system. But now, when we look at this right here, when we look at this uh, slide from a PowerPoint and lecture presentation that we have here, let's look, at, let's look over some of the 16. There's 16 of these. One is unprecedented warfare according to Matthew 24 and 7, Revelation 6 and 4. Then secondly is famine. Now the drought situation that we have going on in Somalia, in Somalia and in um, that Horn of Africa region is clear and definite to the Matthew 24 and 7, Revelation chapter 6, verse 5, verse 6, and verse 8. So we can see clearly that this is time and judgment as we come to 2012, as we come to 2012. So these are all the signs that we are seeing, which we said from earlier that these are some of the signs, the features of, of 2012, and the end of the Gentile world system, the Gentile, so-called Gentile or Gentile world system in the last days of white supremacy. Now, as we go to the fourth, we see it says increasing lawlessness and revolutions, you understand, or what seems to be revolutions and rebellion according to Matthew 24 and 12. Matthew 24 and 12. So what we see with the London riots is definitely in this time and judgment, this time and judgment. Like we said, this video is a very important video that will help to put into context what is currently being seen and witnessed in London and various spreading to various different cities. It's a diary of a 400-year exile, time and judgment, and we know that, as the scripture says, that your seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs. You understand? And it says the iniquities of the Amorites are not yet full. So even though this should have, some would say, ended long time ago. We're in the time of the iniquity of the Amorites. And the head of the Amorites, biblically, prophetically, are the Anglo-Americans. So we're speaking about the English, you understand, where this video basically takes place. It highlights the events of the black Britons fighting against racism and oppression, down oppression over in the British, the British Isles. Now, the next sign that we have of the 16 signs is the ruining of the earth, the global warming. And we see this almost every day. And it's being talked about now, the whole eco-friendliness, so-called, Revelation 11 and 18. But the ones that are really taxing, you understand, are not the globalists, are not the ones who are polluting the earth, but the poor people, you understand, who have been either bought in or scurred in to submission to the system of things. Now, earthquakes. Remember the Haiti earthquake and 
that was one of the major earthquakes recently. That's Matthew 24 and 7. So we again see time and judgment. Time and judgment in this diary of a 400-plus year exile. Then it says perilous times, critically perilous times, hard to deal with, hard to deal with. This is where the drugs and the big pharma comes in. You understand the medications, uh, all of this kind of uh, psychosis that we see, which, which really from a biblical perspective is demonic activity, demonic activity. But as we go to the next sign, we see where it says inordinate love of money, not according to the ordinance of the true God, the God of truth, but according to the worldly system where people would do anything for money, Second Timothy 3 and 2. We move to the next one, disobedience to parents, that we have some recent stories about um, some, some old fay or white uh, kids, even though black kids following white people that are caught up in this, this world system are doing the same thing, disobedience to parents, killing their parents, and parents killing their children. Once again, another, another accurate sign. Now, people say, well, these things probably have always happened but not with the intensity. You see, they, they, they want to they dismiss. They're part of that next to last sign, the ridiculers who reject the proof of the 2012 and the last days. You understand? They want to reject that. But let's go to the next sign, a lack of natural affection, a lack of natural, in other words, what God, you understand, what the true, true God, and one can say nature's affection, where people are going opposite of their nature. So we could talk about the so-called gay or homosexual marriage. We could talk about a lot of crazy, unnatural affections that are going on. You understand? But all of these must be seen together as one. These are various features of one sign. You understand? That's the sign of the last days. You understand? Or the end of white supremacy or the Gentile um, world system. China is competing. Al Qaeda is competing. You understand? Some say um, black supremacy is competing. You understand? Some say the Hispanics and Mexicans and others who want to take back what they regard and somewhat rightly as their country. You understand? Their America. So there's a lot of um, competition. You know, some say there's aliens that want to take over too. So there's a lot of potential world system, but we're in a time and judgment, you understand, where it's a certain prophetic time. And those who understand time and judgment are basically rolling the dice, as it were, taking the chance in their own favor. It's only those who are lost, you understand, who don't know what's going on like a deer in the headlights, who don't recognize the time and judgment. But let's just complete this right here. Um, so where, where do we leave off? A lack of natural affection, Second Timothy 3 and 3, loving pleasure rather than Jah, rather than the true God, Second Timothy 3 and 4. And we live in a very bread and circus society. The next sign is a lack of self-control. Some call that ADD, ADHD, inattentiveness, impulsiveness. Um, hyperactivity, a lack of self-control of one's feelings and emotions, and, and do what thou wilt. That's what we're living to do what thou wilt, Second Timothy 3 and 3. Next we have without love of goodness. And this is an interesting sign, too, where you'll find there are ones who hate those who are good or godly. You understand? They think you're a sucker, you're a fool if you still have good thoughts or pure thoughts or clean thoughts because they're without a love of goodness, ungodly hatred, especially for those who seek God or seek the truth and seek good, Second Timothy 3 and 3. Then we have this sign, which is amazing. This is why a lot of people don't, they've heard these things before, but they don't get it, is this next to, this will be the, what, 15th, 16th, 13th, the 14th, the 14th sign, taking no note of impending danger. You understand? They're taking no note. Even though we're seeing these signs all around this every day, day after day, you understand? They take no note of this. You understand? They don't take no note. Every time they hear these same signs go on, 
They're like, wow, you understand, wow. You understand, because they take no note of the impending danger, Matthew 24 and 39. And each of these references, scripture references, are very, very important. You understand, very, very important. There's abundance of evidence out there that could be put together for this. Now, the ridiculous, as we mentioned, they reject the proof. When we present this as proof, they reject the proof of 2012 in the last day, 2 Timothy 3, 3, and 4. Then the last one is the global preaching or the proclamation of the King of Kings' kingdom and his Christ, of the true gospel of Christ in his kingly character. And we're speaking of Kedemawi Hylas Elijah, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, the elect of God the king of kings of Ethiopia. So check this out for yourself. You understand? Pick sense, pick sense out of nonsense. You understand? Because this is actually what's going on. And we say the nonsense, the nonsense that they give you to dissuade you to what time and what judgment we are actually in. So once again, in a ras yadinos, Tefari name.